I remember her, but I can't go back and ask her anything and she was gone in one moment from my life. So ask your elders something. Don't pass them up. They've got more than you think. Oh. Moving on, we're, we're asking for Francis de la Rosa. Francis de la Rosa. She's 85. She's, her tribal affiliation is Yaqui. She's from Porterville. And speaking for her will be Nadine Chuka, her granddaughter. Hello everybody, I'm here speaking on behalf of my grandmother, Frances De La Rosa, who has always shown us resilience and strength and love and encouragement through everything that she has been through, always loving. And she gave, she brought eight children. She has two of them here, my Aunt Virginia and her son Albert, who love her very much. and. I just want to say that I feel very honored to be amongst our elders and to be here in the presence of my grandmother. She has her fifth generation right here, and she's been very fortunate and very blessed by the Creator to be able to see and withstand everything. And she's always been very quiet and very humble, but when she said something, it was for something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that, but she's very loving and I'm honored to be here with her. And here's her, her daughter in love right here, Aunt Yolanda. And um, we're very blessed to be here and thank you guys. All right, thank you. Next we have Sheila Lishi. She is 85. She's, her tribal affiliation is Selena. She's from Bakersfield, California, and introducing her will be Teresa Alberte. Marcus Rodriguez. Nancy here has been a big part of my life. Uh, she's uh, helped uh, teach um, a family the fair way with the, the bare songs. Um, Nancy here has been involved with the, the longest walks and just uh, teaching uh, our people the way of our ancestors. And uh, we're real thankful that, that you're here, Nancy. Next up, I want to invite over Patrick Orozco. Patrick Orozco is 84. His tribe affiliation is Shumash. 85, I stand corrected. He's from Watsonville, California, and speaking for him will be his nephew, Marcus Rodriguez. My Uncle Patrick uh, has also been uh, a big part my life. He started our dance group in Makatura many years ago, long before I was born. And I'm grateful to be part of the dance group since I was a, was a young age, teaching us the songs, the dances, the language. I'm thankful that he was a part of starting this gathering. So we could all be here and honor, and honor our, our elders. Um, we're all thankful that they're here for us um, and still teaching us, uh, still teaching and uh, still uh, learning from others. And uh, thank you, Uncle. Next we have Peggy Rodriguez. 
Peggy Rodriguez. Is Peggy Rodriguez here? David Ibarra. David Ibarra would like to recognize you. David Ibarra is 70 years old. Oh, so 70 years young. Okay, he's from Pomona. Richard Guiroga will be speaking for him. This is his uh, time and partner. Okay, partner in crime. Hello, Emmett Bowie. Hey, it's Richard Groga from Sun Bear Town. I want to uh, honor uh, David Ibarra right now for for uh, always being there for the family and and blessing us with uh, with you know the spirit inside that shows on the outside through four gifts the brain to always think good thoughts the voice to always speak good words hands to always lend a hand and a heart to love unconditionally. We don't always hit all four, but he's good at some of them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Peggy Rodriguez. She's 70 years young and the travel affiliation is world. Chumash. A worldly Chumash. From Morgan Hill. Thank you, Rodriguez. And her daughter will be speaking for her. This is my mom, Peggy. I just want to say what a blessing it's been to have her in the family. She's the glue that keeps everybody together. I think she has somewhere around 12 grandchildren. <laughs> so she's a pretty busy, she was a pretty busy grandma. We love her and we're lucky to have her. All right, uh, next we have uh, Helen Dominguez. Helen Dominguez and Henry Dominguez. Helen is Aloni, she's 73. She lives in San Jose, California. And Rachel Dominguez, her daughter will be speaking for her. As well as Henry Dominguez, he's 81. He's Tarumara, he's from San Jose. And his daughter as well, Rachel, will be speaking for him. So we can welcome these two elders. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the Creator for this weekend. It's a beautiful weekend to be here. And I also thank the councilman and the spokesman for making this happen and giving me the opportunity to, uh, to honor my mom because sometimes the female nation, we forget about the female nation and they're, they're strong, they're what brings us together. So I'm just glad to be here to honor my mom and my brother will be speaking on behalf of my dad. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. We have Joanne Brown. Joanne Brown. Now we'd like to call Danny John. Danny John. He's 80 years old. His tribal affiliation is Dene. He's from Whitfield, Arizona. Speaking for him will be Louis Vasquez. He's still guiding us. He's still uh, 
um, caring for the movement, not only but the movement, but he's also caring for the people that you know he surrounds himself with. His uh, companion, Alan Dominguez, is over there. You just heard about her. There's two peas in a pot, one without the other can exist. So I'm uh, honoring Henry Dominguez for elder from the sounds of Black Array. All right. Next we have Danny John. We're back on track. Danny John, 80 years old, Danette from Wheatfields, Arizona. Speaking for him will be Jody. And also Maureen John, she's 72. She's Danette from Wheatfields, Arizona. And speaking for her, also Jody. Good afternoon, relatives. I'd like to speak on behalf of my mom and dad. This is First Lady of the Sundance in Arizona in Wheatfields, Little Big Medicine. She's our First Lady, and this is our Sundance Chief, Danny John. They carry a lot of medicine. They take care of the people. They continue these ways. They've had a long life on this path, and they've helped during the struggles. They've been through a lot. So much it would take me a long time to describe what I know. But what I know of these people, they're very loving. They're very open. They like to bring people together. And they believe in these ways. They continue these ways for the children. So I'd like to thank them for being here, for traveling. And I ask for prayers for, for my mom and dad here. Thank you. Next we have Mary Rose St. Pierre Rio Tutar. Mary Rose St. Pierre Rio Tutar. She's 87. She's from California. Oh, well, somebody wrote 87. So she's getting younger. She is 96. This is my brother, Bruce and I'm her daughter, Melissa. And this is my mother, Mary, and she's Chippewa Cree from Rocky Boy. And there, I have seven other brothers and sisters, so there's nine of us all together. And um, she's doing well, 97 years old. Hey. Uh, oh, 96, sorry. <laughs> 96. <laughs> but she says she has a lot more years to go, so that's good. And um, she um, she's doing well. So wave at everybody, mom. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. I say from Rocky Boy, Montana. She can walk free. Nice to meet you. All right. Next we have Richard Gonzalez. This way. He's 67. Is Lipan Apache tribe of. Blacketville, Texas, residing in Watsonville, California, he will introduce himself. My name is Richard Gonzalez. Uh, Today's uh, my wife and I's uh, 45th anniversary. So I'm here, I got to make up, uh, just kind of you know, spend time with her. <laughs> but uh, no, as she knows, I, I really enjoy coming over here. This is fun culture. But uh, I've got to learn more about uh, with uh, the tribe of this area here, here with Patrick Ross and my, my tribe. Because, uh, Some of the elders don't have somebody to walk with them. One, one with Patrick. I'm old fashioned where I like to speak to, speak to people in person rather than phone or yeah. but, um, but I'm, I'm really uh, thankful for being here and uh, I have, I'm looking forward to being here for many, many uh, more years. Richard uh, has been a big part of this gathering too. Uh, he had a had a business down in Washingtonville, and he would uh, donate the canopies and chairs and tables just to help us out. We were thankful for that. He also at, uh, asked the new business owner to continue that that help for us. So, um, on a many comes behalf, we're all uh, thankful for your help. Thank you. 
right. Next we have Stephen Martinez. Stephen Martinez, are you here? All right, we're gonna move to Mr. Razzle Dazzle. <laughs> Mr. Razzle Dazzle. He's 74 years old. He walk. Sacramento. All right. Our name will be. Hello, relatives. My name is Chimoy Lopez from Chumash Territory. Uh, honored to be here today, and is an honor to be asked to represent uh, my uncle Razzle Dazzle. It says a lot that his relatives are um, traveling to another ceremony today, and I can say it's because of this man's good. Um, role modeling for the, the young people in this community. All these ceremony people, they take from themselves weekend after weekend, going from ceremony to ceremony, completing these obligations that they're asked to. And that the young people in this community have that same spirit as their elders, that take up that mantle when their elders uh, are getting older and can't travel as much. I'll say that um, my uncle here uh, has taught his people well. And uh, he's asked me to share a few words and but what I can say is the first time that I met Uncle Razzle Dazzle was here in this harbor. In many years, I know he brought his youth here to go dance the shakehead from his community and bring that medicine here for the people. And I looked up to his young people here. I looked up to him and learned a lot just from watching him here in this harbor. Many years later, I started school up at UC Davis in the Sacramento area. I was away from home, I was looking for family, community. And little did I know it would be my uncle here, Razzle Dazzle, that would make me feel at home, make me feel welcome. When I needed help up there away from home, I knew I could turn to him. If I needed a sweat, if I needed some place to go to ask for advice, I could turn to him. So I can't be uh, express my gratitude enough for everything that you do, uncle. Um, You've heard him talk in the elder circle this morning at the ceremony last night, probably earlier in the day. But um, for those of you who don't know everything he does, uh, I hope I can, uh, these words will share just a little bit, just a glimpse into the effort that he puts in for his people. And what I've learned uh, from him is the importance of having those role models, those spiritual leaders for the youth. And when I go to, um, his uh, community gatherings, I see the youth there being taught well, being taught the right way, being uh, clean and sober, you know, uh, honoring our culture, honoring the ancestors and our spirituality. So um, that's as much as I can say right now, which does not give credit to my elder here. But I hope these few words um, um, uh, uh, live up to your expectations of me and I hope that um, all of the elders here have many years coming to this gathering yet. Thank you. And I just want to say when you give the gifts, you requested a clapper stick. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm put it out there. All right. And next we want to recognize Jody Pando. She's 67. She's Taino, Puerto Rican native and Apache. Lives in Dakota, California. Known as Fremont. And speaking for her will be. And also, uh, Louis Vasquez, he's Yaki San Jose. So, we, um, several of us on the council, wanted to just take a moment to say thank you to Via and Theo for all of their hard work, for all of their dedication that is a lifetime. Um, for helping us in our own individual life paths to find a um, clear understanding of what commitment is, what it looks like, how it needs to be held, you know. And we know that they care deeply about the people they come into contact with, we see it. Thank you for learning and also teaching and for holding sacred ceremony to help people heal. Um, and we want to say thank you for the teaching, the most important teaching of generosity. Opening your home, opening your heart, always um, giving even when it's hard to do that. And so we just want to say thank you. Yeah, thank you for that good example, for so much love. My 
my name is Sonia. Uh, I met Theo, Louis, and Thea Jody about 17 or 18 years ago, and um, they came at the perfect time of my life. I needed somebody to remind me to stop being a knucklehead, and the, the message has been continuing since then, but I really owe a lot of the growth and the changes um, that I've made in that time to the beautiful family that I have now. I feel a lot of it is attributed to the time and energy you put into your prayers for us, holding ceremony, creating that space, and just showing us um, what this path looks like. And our family will be changed, and I know generations to come is only going to um, benefit from that. And I can only imagine the community and the people that they've met in the, you know, um, throughout the years that they've been around. So I really just want to say thank you both for all your love and your commitment. I'd also like to announce and recognize D. Didi Manzanares Ibarra. Didi Manzanares Ibarra. She's 67. She's Romson Amatsuda Tai. She's an elder from Hesperia. And speaking for her will be Danny Hope. how strong she is, not just physically, but at heart. She has done a lot for me and my sister and everyone she's come around. She is also very connected to our culture, and I'm very grateful that she taught me so much about it. She has helped me throughout times, even when she was going through so much. This year has been interesting, to say the least but she managed to stay strong for me, my sister, and our family. And I would like to thank her for that because she has helped everyone uh, in our family and even outside of our family. Thanks, we'd like to recognize Teresa Iniguez Flores. Teresa Iniguez Flores. She's 73. She is Mexica from Mexico. Introducing her will be Astrid. Astrid. for me and my healing journey as well. She's a holder of people. She brings really good intention. She's our big mama. <laughs> and she has been a big, big point of me and of myself. And just being connected to also my roots and my community. So. Teresita is our big community holder and healer, and she's just amazing. <laughs> Teresa has been also, you know, holding space for people who need deep healing and maybe are not necessarily connected to all of their cultural lines, and helping them to heal not just themselves, but their generations like that. Um, and so we know that a lot of times people come daily <laughs> to ask for your help, and you never turn anyone away. You always give generously, and you always say yes to people that you can offer healing to. So a lot of people asked us to say thank you in this way, and it's the beginning of a lot of thank yous coming to you. So, thank you for coming up. Alright, next 
Next up we have, I'd like to recognize Maria Miranda. Maria Miranda. 70, 70, she's Mexicas, Sacramento, and speaking for her will be her son, Mitzi. Buenas tardes. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we as a, as a group, as a family, as Lanzantes Aztecas, we've been here for many years now. My my kids were barely born when we started to dance right here. Now they're 25 and 22. And uh, they're here. They're here honoring all the elders that we've been, been dancing uh, for all these years right here in this harbor. But today, today is an honor to finally have someone of our own, Maria Miranda. Ella es una jefa de danza. She's a very recognized uh, jefa de danza. We call her chief of dance among our people. And um, she's been pretty much on the move in a lot of movements since the early 60s. And uh, right here, she's been recognized with uh, some of the elders that are sitting down right here. Uh, you know, they're sharing stories and, and uh, a lot of things that they, they did back then, right? With a lot of the movements that were involved. Uh, um, United Farmers, United Farmers Movement, right? Um, AIM, AIM, Black Berets, um, Sundancer and DQ. Uh, so she's just been around, right? And uh, today, like I say, it's an honor to have uh, una jefa de danza que es muy querida y que es muy respetada entre nosotros. Muchas gracias. She's 66 years of age. 